Good morning everybody and welcome back to Visit File Coast and it's another lovely day and we're at Anchor Zone Park this morning in, in Blackpool, just in Blackpool because just, 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 just not many yards down there is Kingsway which is the boundary of Blackpool with wire and where Cleveland begins and these lovely people that you can see with the yellow vests on are litter picking, they're friends of the park and we're going to go for a little a little walk around today because it's nearly a year since the park opened it was actually finished <clears throat> this time last year and, a, and an opening was was planned for last april but because of covid it got put back to july so i suppose technically it's been it's been finished and ready for a year so we're at the seafront at anchor zone and this promenade is where you can park it's long stay parking so you do have to pay but it's not expensive you can you can manage a, a pound an hour i'm sure and this this park kind of kills two birds in one stone because it's a lovely community facility for people to use and it's also the site of a major united utilities asset as they're called and just at the back of this little crest of grass you can see two two buildings one of them is you're never going to believe this a cafe because it's got brewery on the side of it and the other one is a united utilities service building as are that one and these silver pipes that are stuck up out of the floor they're they're vent pipes for the exhaust gases from the sewage system that little building down there is a is a kind of a council store area for their equipment and it's also the home of the bowling club so we shot nothing we've got at anchor zone park and we've got some more volunteers here look litter picking plenty of space they can all go and do what they want now this lovely big area of block paving is actually a lid Yes, I know, it's not the kind of lid that you'd find in your kitchen, but it is a lid nonetheless. It is the lid for a huge underground tank which stores all of the surface water and sewage and grot that the, the sewage works at Fleetwood are struggling to cope with until it can be passed through the system and treated. The alternative is doing what they used to do back in the day when when I was a little girl in the 1970s and they used to pump sewage out into the into the sea, which was grim, believe me. So as you can see by these good people sat enjoying a brew on the outside edge, it's also built as a kind of a, an amphitheatre <coughs> so that it can be used as a performance space linked into the cafe and all the rest of it. So you see, it's, it's killing birds in one stone. So in 2015, would you believe, the work began and I'm going to walk down here because I happen to know that there's a pond down here. And if you follow Visit File Coast, you'll know that I'm a big fan of all, all things feathered, furry and scaly. And I bet there are frogs or frog spawn in this pond. <coughs> so I need, to, I need to go and have a look because I've not actually been and looked at the pond since since last July when it was the opening event so I'm, I'm intrigued to know to know whether or not it's it's running in animals so we shall we shall cut across the grass and we shall go and take a look now obviously it's a big park it's a big plot of land and you can't fill everything in a park this big with things but the friends group led by councillor Paul Galley are making a mighty fine attempt at making it a really nice community asset and this this is also a bit of a it's a bit of a drainage a drainage place as well and you're not really aware of it at the minute because we've had a few a few days without any rain but you can see that there's a a, a sort of a dip cut into the edge of the field here and that's to allow the water to drain off this higher mound of grass and it drains into this ditch 
and then it feeds into the into the pond which we're just coming across to now <coughs> because otherwise the field would just be a soggy a soggy puddle of mess so all the work that united utilities did in the park cost the thick end of 200 million pounds because they built that big hall and then they built a new pumping station and then they put a new pipe a new outfall pipe out to sea so a huge amount of work was done and all designed to improve the the bathing water so you can see where, where that little outfall is there where the, the the drainage water comes out into the into the pond I can't see any taddies. Mind you, having said that, I've got some taddies in my pond and they've hatched. So they've probably hatched and they're probably, probably tad tadpoling the way around the edges. I bet that looks lovely in summer when it gets, when it gets working. So I think what we're going to do now, we're going to cut straight back across the middle of the field and we're going to head back towards the cafe and the climbing area. So anyway, that tank, that tank that's underneath the floor, would you believe it's 30 metres deep, 30 metres across, which makes it over 90 foot both ways. That is some tank. Now on our Live Blackpool website, we've got a page of information about all of the United Utilities work. So I'll put the link for it in the description below for you. And there are some really good aerial photographs as well of the tank being built and how they built it. And you just would never believe, looking at this grassy field, that all that work had been done. It's just, it's incredible. So, it holds the equivalent of five Olympic swimming pools of waste water. That's a lot of water. So all this, I think the trim trail was there in the first place. That's that. You can just see a tire, two tires sort of hung in midair. That that was there before the United Utilities work was done. But all these buildings and playground facilities and everything are all are all new. So we will come back one day and meet the friends of Anchor Zone Park and find out what it is that they're doing. But I thought it would just be nice to come back on a sunny day and have a little walk round and just have a look and see what it looks like now that it's finished and open because we missed it all last time. There were loads and loads of people about. And it was a bit of a grey day, which was a shame. So, that's the park. Tennis courts, multi-use games area. There's a, a, a putting green in construction. Everything that you could want. So, you can park on the seafront, which is just over there. You can come and have a drink. You can run around to your heart's content. You can have a picnic on all this grass. And just enjoy a free afternoon out in your local area. So I hope you've enjoyed this um, video. If you have, give it a like, give it a thumbs up. If you've got any questions, pop them below. Don't forget you can join the Friends of Anchor Zone Park. Um, you can find them on Facebook and make sure you've subscribed to Visit File Coast on YouTube. And we'll see you soon. Bye for now.